What's good, y'all? It's about time we get into gear selling. It has been heavily, and if I say heavily, I mean heavily requested. So, uh, yeah, let's get you on the right foot, on the right path in regards to what can you sell, when you can you sell, what, what should you be looking for, what are combinations to keep in mind while selling gear. And rather important disclaimer, we are going to sell gear through the menu over here, right? So everyone that just runs their runs doesn't bother with uh, selling their gear after they are finished. Uh, obviously, after they're finished with their run, uh, you, you obviously need to sell them here. And <coughs> obviously, people that <coughs> might want to use an auto clicker also end up with a lot of gear in their gear storage. So yeah, we are a thousand pieces deep and it's time to deep clean. And what I'm going to show you here is what you want to use after your run. So you wanna you wanna pretty much follow the general outline here and then just apply it after a run so you don't need to bother going into the uh, this uh, section over here, locking pieces and selling stuff. But yeah, uh, let's get straight into it and we're going to start with the banger. We're going to go for offensive left side gear and with offensive left side gear obviously the first combination we're going to look for and also the first combination every one of y'all should be looking for is at least attack percent and crit rate attack percent and crit rate besides certain characters like wrath and satrum are attack and crit rate is pretty much mandatory unless you have a specific character in mind and you know you're going to need that piece for example we have an armor like this that is obviously missing crit rate so we could use it on the setrum but in general what you want to at least look for is going to be attack percent and crit rate so after that one it's 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 rather simple you're going to start out with looking for two substats once you have around four dps sets with two substats then you can start looking for three substats and once you have then four sets of three substats you also don't need to obviously look for two stats anymore and then you can like slowly transition into th uh, into three sets into four stats and then into five stats which is obviously exclusive to right side gear but i hope you get my drift so um this is what you would be looking for once you start getting into mythic gear like instantly and my general tip for left side gears already you should be looking set based you are going to want to match your stats to your sets because it's left side gear we're talking about and making a left side gear set isn't actually that hard but yeah let's let's get let's get into it so once you're past 13 going into pretty much pretty much let's say you went from 13 to 18 you're now finished with all the 18s and you want to start progressing into the 19s 20s 21s what you kind of want to do is add in this subset over here and look for pieces that have already now three fitting stats so attack percent uh crit rate and then attack flat which is then obviously something you want to look for or rage region though Keep in mind, Rage Region can only appear on Ancient Pieces, so that's why you're not going to find it here. So what we're then going to do is we're going to lock all the Potential Pieces right here. If that uh, deems itself worthy to load. And now we're going to search for the last combination, which is going to be Attack Percent, Crit Rate, Crit Damage. Obviously, there's just uh, not a lot of those shown because I uh, have already upgraded mine, right? So, for example, a piece like this. But yeah, those those two combinations are what you want to start looking for after 18. So especially chess piece wise, you want to look for attack attack percent and attack flat. And now the reason why you're only seeing chess pieces here is because the crit damage set is exclusive to chess pieces on ancients, as well as the inability for you to get attack flat on a weapon because it already has attack flat in its main stat. So what you want to search for instead is going to be attack percent, crit rate, and attack speed. That's like the optimal offensive weapon you're going to look for. And if you can't find that, then uh, your normal selection is going to be just a straight up attack percent with crit rate, nothing fancy. The only thing you can upgrade offensively is like I said, if you would then uh, find attack speed, which reminds me of the fact that I should probably move my ass over here. So yeah, uh, let's continue gear sorting while you can actually see the filters. So now that we've locked everything of importance out of all those sets here, there's one more thing we can do, which is going to be taking out the Annihilating Might filter and also taking out the Whirlwind filter, because we don't need those anymore, 
And then we're going to include the salvation filter because we're now going to look for the second type of attack percent based armor, which is going to be healer. So for healer armor, I'm going to hide enhanced uh, pieces because I've already upgraded slash sorted those. Uh, chest pieces are rather simple. The only thing you can find on the chest piece is legit attack percent and healing effect because if you remember, you can't actually get attack speed. So you want to keep a couple. You just want to keep a couple. At the end of the day, it is really important to know, do you already have your healers geared? Are you looking for more? Do you need more or do you already have enough of those? Right. So especially in the chest piece department, the only two stats for a healer you could be looking for would be uh, attack bonus and healing effect and then obviously attack flat if you can manage it. Which then brings us again to the same one, which would be the weapon where we have a single match. We've locked everything we wanted to lock. We can check again if we've missed something. For example, we could lock this piece, but I don't actually need the healer gear, at least not like this anymore. So I'm not going to lock it. Which uh, already concludes healer slash offensive based gear. Besides, besides one important part, and that is constant slash Dolores gear. Constant slash Dolores gear is kind of like its own gear, I guess. The only thing you're going to be looking for is straight up attack percent and attack. Just attack percent and attack is what you need on your Constance and your Dolores. So if you haven't finished your Dolores build yet, keep attack percent and attack flat calamity breastplates because you're going to need them for your Dolores anyway. And what you want to do is obviously aim for at least double purple roll. The same goes for the weapon and for the weapon you would really just be searching for attack percent which makes it rather simple and then you would just be locking those over here preferably a warlord set because you're going to get the 10 percent extra flat attack at the end of the day it's some more attack and that's what dolores is all about so you might as well try to give her a warlord set instead of the usual calamity set so you can then lock those pieces and then if you have your dolores sorted you have your attack based dealer sorted and you have your damage dealer sorted which brings us to another uh, another type of healer and that is going to be the straight up HP percent healers. So for HP percent healers, it is pretty much the same procedure. And we're going to search for HP percent healing effect and then HP flat if you do need to look for it. And then you can lock those pieces. And then as another set, we're going to look for attack speed. As you can see, we don't have a match, but a weapon like this would be the perfect healer based or attack ba uh, HP based healer weapon. So then we, we've sorted through the weapon and we can take those filters out again and search for tank pieces. Tank pieces are rather straightforward, rather simple. The only thing you really, really want to look for is HP percent and defense percent. And then preferably a multi warrior or a life force breastplate because you don't really want to use your tank in a salvation set. So then you can just search for your pieces, everything that says HP percent and de uh, defense percent you can lock. And then again, depending on how good is your tank you're ready, are you happy with it? You can either sell them outright or you can keep some and you can roll some more. And then stats that would help on a tank at least somewhat, that's going to be attack speed because uh, you have certain tanks like a Baron, like a Brock here that do regenerate rage on hit. So if they hit something faster, they regenerate more rage. If they regenerate more rage, they can use the ultimate uh, faster. And if they can use the ultimate faster, their survivability is higher. But it is very niche and nothing super required. We're just going to lock it anyway. Then obviously, if you want to make it more specific, you could also start to look for HP percent with defense percent, which a with HP flat, and then even some defense flat on top. And you would find a piece like this, which would... Be probably be perfect for Oleg, but you don't need to deep dive that deep into tank gear. Tank gear is not that important. So we've checked, we've pretty much checked everything out. Now on a special note, whirlwind set. The only reason you would consider a whirlwind set is for a DPS. And on a DPS, you kind of need perfect stats. So the only reason you would really want to keep a whirlwind set is if it has at least attack percent, crit rate and crit damage, those three stats. Because otherwise, a whirlwind set just performs worse in the end damage wise, especially once you start getting attack speed on your pieces properly as substats instead of needing to rely on a set for that one. So this already has us finished sorting through how many pieces is there now? 
it weren't it weren't even that many was it let's see so yeah as you can see we've systematically filtered through the pieces obviously besides the ancients ancients are kind of an exception right so you can lock an ancient like this but we filtered at least to, to what my account needs and then obviously what your account needs we can sell 180 pieces straight up so we've already cleared 180 which gives us probably like 400 to go <laughs> so uh we continue now we're going to do the same th thing and we're going to again start offensively which is why we're going to take Inferno, Ross, Sorbonne, Arcana, Insight, Wisdom, Doom, Sticks, Night Terror, Glacier, Hawkeye, Fracture, Fatality and Curse Set. Those are pretty much all the offensive sets in the game and this is exactly what we're then going to look for. So we're going to do the same start and we're going to again start out with probably the most important stat which is going to be a tech percent and then add in some crit rate this is like standard stuff you just get into mythic pieces what you want on your piece is attack percent in the top crit rate below that one and then let's again stack it up bring it up a notch bring it into the 18th and higher which is going to be adding another layer which is going to be crit damage especially on mages like viana and zealous this is pretty much already a perfect piece because you don't need to look for attack speed so pieces like this, even if they don't look that great, because they only obviously have two good substats, they are still very, very good on a Viana, on a Zealous, on anything that's not attack speed related. And then again, depending on how far you're in the game, you can add in another substat. So you could be looking for attack percent with crit rate, crit damage, and then attack. And then only lock those pieces that do fit the description. And then instead of attack, you can look for attack speed, lock everything that fits. And instead of attack speed, the last thing you can look for is going to be Rage Region and then lock everything that fits. I don't actually need those, uh, those pieces anymore, which is why even, they, even though they look quite nice, I've only locked the ones that also have like an additional subset in attack flat. Now we're going to, going to do quite the same thing, but it, this time it's going to be crit damage. So instead of then crit damage at the bottom, we're going to look for attack percent. And here's this pretty much the same procedure. I mean, you're already getting... Uh, getting where I'm going with this we're going to obviously we only have one piece right but we're still going to sort anyway which obviously the first step is going to be again attack flat as you can see we don't have any pieces then we're going to search for attack speed and lastly we're going to search for rage region which is also pieceless so we've locked everything important out of the crit damage category which then puts us into attack speed now for attack speed there's, there's a couple of pieces you could be looking out for. So the obvious one is going to be the, the usual damage combination. Any attack speed piece that doesn't at least have those stats, you can probably sell it. Because attack speed pieces are only really good on Giselle and Feischer. Like As main stat, only on Giselle and Feischer would you ever consider using attack speed main stat. But who knows who they release in the future. You might as well keep pieces like this, especially if they're four stat wise. So then you've kept those pieces and now on the second part that is going to be at least at least a bit surprising and that is HP percent and rage region. Why HP percent and rage region or just attack speed and rage region? That is because heroes like Mary and Lysia and Pyrus do exist. Why do I name those in the same category? Because the best py uh, Pyrus Mary and see whatever build is going to revolve around if we're talking right side it's going to revolve around at the top preferably hp percent with some attack speed and some rage region in the middle you want attack speed main stat rage region then some hp percent if you can do it and then in the bottom slot you would go for rage region main stat with some hp and some attack speed so that's why we're going to save a piece like this for our Mary, Lazir, Pyrus, whoever we need a rage region build for. The HP percent is mainly there to keep him alive, preferably and basically only in gear rate 1 really, because they do tend to struggle there and we just want to make our life easier. Now there's another category you want to look for, especially in the beginning, or if you haven't yet perfected your invigoration set on a Dolores, which is a really, really arduous process. So we're going to search for the perfect Dolores pieces. Attack percent, uh, not just Dolores, but also Constance. Attack percent in the top, attack flat in the substat, sprinkle in some rage region and you have the perfect Dolores formula. So for everyone that still needs to work on their Doloreses, isn't happy with their Doloreses, 
lock, especially lock those pieces. And you might be wondering, oh, why are we even including a Rage Region in this one? Because Rage Region is pretty much like a curve. And starting from around 50% Rage Region, that's when you kind of don't see your returns anymore. And the most efficient Rage Region is really somewhere between 0 and 50%. And just because... Mo in, in the community, it is kind of established that you do want to run your Dolores with around 40% rage region. So you should also make sure to run yours with around 40% rage region. Because it's just allowing a Dolores to, especially in Gate Boss, go two times per shield way easier. And it also allows you to copy what others are doing in other stage guides and videos without specifically needing to know what kind of Dolores build they're running. Because 9 out of 10 times they are going to run 40% rage region. So this is what we're going to search for for our Dolores. So if your Dolores is not finished, search for stats like this. If your Dolores is already finished or you're just looking for invigoration touches, then you can obviously ignore this one. And now, now the big question is, do we just... Yeah, see, this is, this is again a point where you need to decide where am I in the game, how are my units built, and where do I need to, uh, where do I want to go? So... If we again imagine ourselves in a in in someone that has cleared a gear rate thirteen or gear rate ten now and is starting to just unlock mythic gear, then obviously you would want to search for a tank gear right here, right? So especially be a tank gear, be a tila gear, be it all the gear, whatever you want to search for, you would search it right here. So you would fit a, a simple. Attack uh, a simple HP percent with defense percent, and that would already give you pretty much the best pieces for tank gear. And then you would just lock those, roll them, see if you can get double purple. So uh, not just not even double purple. You just need purple on defense percent, and you're pretty much fine. Now, if you really want to go past um, past. 19s, 20s, 21s want to have an easier time in Void and have already stacked out at least 3 to 4 tank sets, then that is the time where you don't actually search for tank sets here because the only real tank set that at least at the moment is viable is going to be a Guardian set or if you're especially poor on pieces and just want any benefit from your sets then you could also run your tank in a slappiest piece because it gives max hp and max hp is just the most valuable stat you can look for in a tank but more to that later so now out of all those offensive sets because it is it is still especially difficult to build an invigoration set we are still going to look for healer based stuff so now the biggest the biggest part is going to be attack percent at least for attack percent healers, we're going to start with attack percent in the main set, and now again the same, the same uh, IU, IU stage 13, IU stage 18 scenario. Once you're just starting to get, uh, starting to start out, you can look for either attack speed or healing effect in the subset. And once you want to progress past 19s and higher, you want to look for both as the subset. If you do want to consider making a serious healer build or want to really go to min maxing it but not yet at the point where you're even running a three, a three set piece on your healer so the perfect piece is just going to be a simple attack percent attack speed healing effect and the same goes the other way around for healing effect which would then be again for a 13 healing effect with attack speed or then healing effect with attack speed and attack or just attack right and then you can just go ahead and lock those pieces over here so we've now already sorted through one part of the healer progress. We're now going to start for the second one, which is going to be HP percent. So same scenario. You're going to look for healing effect and then HP percent. And then depending on how far you are, you're going to either add an attack speed or just search it separately. And then you can lock those pieces, which then concludes healing effect for our HP based healers. So we can then use our normal HP percent. Yeah, I already know it. Same procedure. We're going to look for attack speed and then healing effect simply. Or if you're already far enough, you know the deal. You're going to look for even healing effect on the pieces and then you can lock those. Another tip for those that are already progressing a bit further already on the 19s. You're going to get a lot of gear and a combination like this isn't as rare because you're going to see defense percent, HP percent 
pieces more often compared to offensive pieces. So you can already start looking for 9 peen pieces just for that 10% higher main set, which might at the end in the end game might make that slight bit difference that actually helps you clear stage instead of you losing said stage. So right. now on to the next one, which is going to be crit rate. Well, if you're just starting out 13, whatever, the perfect uh, crit rate piece is going to look somewhat like this. You're going to have crit rate in the main set, then attack. The step up would be attack and then crit damage. And after that, it would be attack speed. Now, if we're again talking about the advanced player, the one that wants to progress as fast as he can, start, uh, starting from a 19 perspective, you only really want to keep crit rate pieces that do already have attack percent crit damage and attack speed because at that level other pieces that don't match those criteria aren't going to help you and I'm just going to keep this crit rate piece because shiny it is shiny shiny so we're going to keep it now that leaves us with a lastly rage region obviously in the main step and here we're going to look for a simple I've already teased it a bit or talked about it a bit a simple attack speed with HP percent and then we can lock that piece right up because that is again going to go on to a Mary, Lysia, Pyros, whoever we want to use a rage region build on even even someone like uh, what's his name ah uh, it's fine so now on to <laughs> on to a category that most of you can ignore so there's there's kind of a well, let's let's make an easy choice. Those pieces you can easily say. Anything that's HP, flat, attack flat, defense flat, you can easily say. But make sure to only include those three over here. Because if you happen to have all five on, what you're going to say is not just those pieces. You're also going to sell every armor and every weapon. So if you do want to sell all those three sets make sure it is only the right side gear selected or you're going to regret it so yeah then we can whoops then we can obviously go ahead and sell those and now on to uh on to the more questionable pieces defense percent now defense percent is rather special at least at the moment there's only really two characters you can consider using it on which would be Garn and Azor and only one character that is actually viable on it which is going to be Garn. So the biggest problem with this gear is it's going to fill up your inventory space and you're not going to be able to get rid of it. So the question is do you want to keep gear in a poker that you're going to get Garn in the future or do you would uh, do you want to rather free up your inventory space? If you just want to free up your inventory space you can just go ahead click select all sell all defense percent pieces and don't worry about it if you do want to get rather serious about defense pieces because there's also someone coming up that is going to use defense percent as a main stat um let me check for his name real quick i know that he's a scaly lizard with some uh electro thingies on his back and that is going to be trusk uh I'll try to find an image, put an image of Trusk somewhere here. And yeah, you could also save defense percent pieces for Trusk. But what would you save? You would actually save defense percent pieces with crit rate and crit damage as a substat. So those are like the basic defense percent pieces because the deal with all defense percent defenders at the moment is for whatever reason, they're supposed to do damage besides being tanky. So you're going to look for defense percent and then crit rate and crit damage to maximize that damage potential. If you do want to look for rather something a bit more tanky, you can also look for an additional HP percent stat or just defense percent main set with HP percent stat below, just like that. Or then additionally to go fully into that DPS margin, you could look for a piece that looks somewhat similar to this which is going to be defense percent, attack percent, uh, crit rate, crit damage, and attack speed. Now, the, uh. One of the bigger questions is probably, why am I talking so badly about defense percent? It is not worth it to run defense percent on your tanks. If you can avoid it, if you have a HP percent piece, HP percent is always going to be better unless your character is focused on defense percent because your t character can tank more hits and through tanking more hits, not only does he in general survive longer because you you can't reduce uh, the enemy de uh, damage they do to you through defense past uh, below a certain point and also the scaling isn't as good. 
you've obviously noticed it already, this, uh, the base value for your tanks of HP is going to be way higher than the defense value. So also the scaling of HP percent is going to be better. And now the last benefit, obviously, if you've, uh, if you've taken your time and read uh, in healer skill, uh, give me a second here. Where do we go? Elowin skills. What you're going to see is it always says, even by attack based healer, HP percent healing doesn't matter. It always says, based on the target's max HP and whatever the caster is using. So max HP on the target, so your tank, is always going to be a major factor in healing that they're going to get. So not only are you going to survive longer, even without considering healing, you're also going to get healed more. And in the end, that's just the best deal for pretty much any tank besides a Garn and an Azor. Now, back onto the gear selling drawing board. We're going to select on usual pieces. So now that we're finished with everything offensive related, tank related, healing related, be it attack or HP based, we are going to now look for the special pieces. The first special piece is easily going to be guardian set. Guardian set wise, you want to look for an HP percent main set and a defense percent substat. Obviously, if I take out Hide and Hunts, you can see I have at least two pieces. <laughs> I don't usually play Gear 2 that much, but that is going to be the end game setup if you want to beef out your tanks. Just the Guardian set with HP percent and then defense percent in the subset. Then obviously, you can again get more specific, add in some attack speed, add in some rage region, add in some extra HP flat, whatever you desire. But that is just what you really want to get out of your Guardian set. So now that we've talked about Guardian set, there's the Mana Spring set left. The Mana Spring set, uh, it's, it's a bit of a special-ish piece, I guess. You don't really have any character that is super optimal on a Mana Spring set, but a Mana Spring set is always nice to have. And pieces I would recommend for you to keep from Mana set are going to be specifically Rage Region Percent. If you, have, if you happen to get a get a Mana Spring set with Rage Union percent, keep those, especially if they then happen to have attack speed and then even some more, be it HP percent or whatever, but those are like the two main sets you're going to look out for. And that is because at the end of the day, if you do want to run someone that spams his ultimate, there isn't any set that benefits more than just the Rage Region auto set. So your character is going to regenerate three extra Rage per second which is going to stack up. And one prime example I have in my head where I did actually use it and at least somewhat felt its effect is going to be on a Liam. A Liam for gear rates, be it 19 or 21, you can just rock him in a mana spring set. He's going to regenerate more rage. And if he regenerates more rage, he poisons more. If he poisons more, boss dies. Furthermore, he triggers Idris ultimate, but that's fine. So yeah, mana spring set, keep some rage region main set, keep some HP percent main set and keep some attack speed main set. So that's it for the Mana Spring set, which then right. now onto the next rather special set. It's, it's not really super special, but it is at least quite special, which is going to be the Glacier set. For the Glacier set, there's one combination you really want to look out for. And it's again, as usual, going to be related to Dolores and Constance. What you want to look out for is the usual Dolores combo. So attack percent in the main set, then attack flat in the substat. And now besides rage region, obviously, which we also don't have, there's there's the little twist, just a little twist in what you want to look further in a glacier set. And that is going to be an additional HP percent. Because if you take a look at the glacier effect, it is going to tell you that you gain an attack bonus equal to 6% of the max HP. So to make full use of this effect and then justify using this set over an invigoration set or at least basically just to maximize what you're going to get from it. You want to look for a piece like this and Glacier set is definitely more effective on a Constance than it would ever be on a Dolores, but it is still not to be underestimated, especially compared to no set at all. But here again, on an important note, make sure you still hit that 40% rage region on your Dolores. Alrighty, now let's continue. This is going to be the last part and it is going to be a Slappies and Invigoration. So for a Slappies and Invigoration, we've already done it for the normal pieces. But if you do want to progress uh, further into the game, we're still going to do it here, which is going to be, we're going to search for Dolores pieces first. So the usual attack percent with attack, 
you can lock whatever you need of that one and then add in rage region so if you happen to have a piece like this lock it you're going to regret it if you don't i've already talked about it you know get that 40 percent rage region on your dolores get that 40 60 whatever percent rage region you want on your constants and make sure you lock those pieces because those are rare as fuck and if i say rare as fuck i mean it it takes ages to get a proper invigoration set so again here i recommend you to just use a broken set and if you can then from a broken set you can upgrade into a red set so 19 and above stage broken set but just use those sets until you can actually manage to get a proper invigoration set with 40 percent rage region because before that it's just going to overcomplicate things and it's not going to be necessary to run invigoration set on your dolores you could just run it on the other characters instead Perfect, so we've searched for the Dolores pieces, which again then brings us to the healing effect of things. So, same scenario, either attack speed or healing effect, or in our case, both. As you can see, we don't have any pieces if you have some lock them. And then we can easily change to HP percent bonus. Then obviously lock our Astapius pieces here. After HP percent, we are going to swap it out for healing effect main stat, take out healing effect, search for attack percent, find our pieces, lock them, take out attack percent, then HP percent, lock them. And after we're done with that, it is GG. We have looked through everything and anything besides that last little, uh, last little one that I've at least somewhat teased a bit, I guess. So that is going to be the rage region combination. So HP percent with attack speed and rage region. So a piece like this is what what you want to want to fit on. What the what the want to fit? What the fuck? So a piece like this is exactly what you would want to fit on your Mary, Lazia, Pyrus, whatever, just to get, give them some extra survivability while still maintaining the highest level of attack speed and rage region possible. And yeah, this concludes gearing. Has has been rather long. I hope it helped you out. Experience makes it. And if you really do it a couple of times, trust me, you are going to get fast at it. It takes me probably around maybe two to three minutes to sort through 200 pieces at the end of a 200 piece run. You're just going to get faster with time and it's going to get less annoying in the future. Trust me on that one. And we see each other in the next one. All right, now that we've together suffered through all this gear cleansing, are you ready for the most satisfying moment, which is going to be select all 2.2 million gold off you go, give me my gold and see you later, bad pieces.